Tonight's the final debate between President Trump and old Joe, but thankfully it'll be live on all the major television networks, and I'm sure that'll put an end to the liberal media industrial complex's ability to censor President Trump's message, right? <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? This debate has adopted a new rule, and they're gonna be muting President Trump's mic while old Joe is speaking so that he can't be interrupted. But the liberals will never be happy until all of our voices are silenced, and now a former Twitter executive is calling on the social media giant to shut down President Trump's Twitter account until at least after the election. Uh, Peter, good to see you. You say Trump should be silenced on both platforms until the winner of the election is determined. That's a pretty extreme suggestion. Why, why do you say that? I agree it is, and I think uh, extreme times demand extreme suggestions. I did not come to this opinion lightly. I believe that the tech companies generally have a responsibility to be neutral. I think in the case of Twitter specifically, it has been a great champion of the democratization of information as well as a, a strong supporter of freedom of expression. However, we are in a unique and I believe a fraught moment in time with a president who is desperate and he's facing a very difficult situation. I think the time is to mute the president temporarily while the uh, votes are being cast right now and until the winner is decided. Well, well, that's one of the most un-American things I've heard in my entire life. And to date, Twitter and Facebook have censored President Trump a total of 65 times now uh, compared to zero for Joe Biden. Meanwhile, MSNBC's Joe Scarborough is upset that Facebook isn't censoring more conservatives. You know, it, it's so hilarious. I saw, I actually saw an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal yesterday. And the columnist, whose name doesn't deserve to be repeated on this program, was talking about the liberal dominance yeah. of Facebook. And this is one of the things, Democrats are so stupid. They really are. <laughs> Democrats and liberals in the media are so, so well, stupid why? because somebody will say, oh, Facebook is Facebook is unfair to conservatives. Oh, what do we do? What, what do we 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 can't have them calling us bad? Yes, you can. Like, that's what conservatives think. They can lie through their teeth. These right wingers think at Wall Street Journal editorial page think they can lie through their teeth and talk about. Facebook having problems and Twitter having problems with a story mm -hmm. that even the New York Post knew was a lie. They knew it was such a lie. We'll get to this, but that, okay. That, oh, he's talking about Hunter Biden's laptop and the emails, which the Democrats have claimed with no evidence at all that it's just Russian disinformation. But John Ratcliffe, director of national intelligence, has said that the emails, in fact, are not part of a disinformation campaign and that they're real. You are the director of national intelligence. You see more intelligence than anybody in the country other than the president of the United States. So you can tell us what's real and what's fake. Is this Russian disinformation, director? So, Maria, it's funny that uh, some of the people that complain the most about uh, intelligence being politicized are the ones politicizing intelligence. And unfortunately, in this case, uh, it is Adam Schiff, the chairman of the House Intelligence uh, Committee, who, uh, as you pointed out on Friday, said that the intelligence community believes that Hunter Biden's laptop and the emails on it are, are part of some Russian disinformation campaign. Let me be clear. The intelligence community doesn't believe that uh, because there's no intelligence that supports that. And this is exactly what I said I would stop when I became the director of national intelligence. And that's people using the intelligence community to leverage some political narrative. And in this case, apparently Chairman Schiff w wants anything against his preferred political candidate to be deemed as not real and is using the intelligence community or attempting to use the intelligence community to say there's nothing to see here. Um, don't drag the intelligence community into this. Hunter Biden's laptop is not part of some Russian disinformation campaign, and I think it's clear that the American people know that. But of course, the liberal media industrial complex is protecting old Joe. Here's the press pool that follows him around on his campaign trail and listen to them all laugh when one of the reporters actually asks a real question. I want to get a, when we call black and white, we're going to move it. 
<laughs> the audio is a little hard to hear, but he was asking about Hunter Biden's laptop and the emails. But before he even got his question out, the press pool knew what he was asking and all started cackling. They were more interested in what flavor ice cream he bought because that's what's really important. Thankfully, Donald Trump is the president and will remain so if you get out and vote in a week and a half because he does things like this. Call Biden a criminal. Why is that? He is a criminal. He's a criminal. He got caught. Read his laptop. And you know who's a criminal? You're a criminal for not reporting it. You are a criminal for not reporting it. Let me tell you something. Joe Biden is a criminal and he's been a criminal for a long time. And you're a criminal in the media for not reporting it. Good luck, everybody. Have a good time. Have a good time. They are criminals, and the disinformation campaign to cover up Joe and Hunter Biden's corruption is astonishing. Wikipedia declares that Hunter Biden and his father have been the subjects of debunked right-wing conspiracy theories pushed by Donald Trump and his allies. Meanwhile, the Never Trump Lincoln Project and their friends in the liberal media were promoting Iranian disinformation after the FBI came out and revealed that the Iranians were behind spoofed emails made to look like they were coming from the Proud Boys and being sent to intimidate Democrats. While President Trump has been out campaigning, holding multiple rallies every single night, Joe Biden has taken the entire week off to rest up for the big debate. I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up wearing a mask, or two, since he's probably afraid to catch coronavirus from President Trump. No, seriously, take a close look at this photo. It's not photoshopped. Joe Biden is now wearing two masks. USA Today reports for Joe Biden, two face masks are better than one in the era of COVID-19. CNN is now airing this PSA trying to mask shame people. This is a mask. It prevents the spread of coronavirus. This is not a political statement. It's a mask. I disagree, CNN. My mask is a political statement about another sickness that's going around, liberalism. And you can order yours from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And if you enter the promo code RussianBot at the checkout one word, you can get 20% off of anything for the rest of this week. That includes my classic liberalism find a cure shirt or mask, the contains facts and opinions, some may find offensive shirt, the cops lives matter shirt, or any of my awesome designs. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below, enter the promo code RussianBot, one word at the checkout, and check them out! <laughs> <laughs>